Yo, what's up everybody? And this video is sponsored to you by Scentbird. And this is a different type of promotion. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service where you can try out every month new designer fragrances for only $17. Scentbird stocks top designer brands like Versace, Prada, and Gucci. And they also stock indie labels as well like Skylar and Confessions of a Rebel. And if you don't know where to start, you can head over to Scentbird's fragrance recommendation quiz where they'll help you find a fragrance you'll love. Based on your preferences, previous purchases, and the quiz answers, Scentbird will find a fragrance you'll love. With each fragrance, you get a 30 day supply. So you get to try it out before you want to commit to a full bottle. Now for me, I'm more so of a beginner when it comes to fragrances and colognes, perfumes, all that type of stuff. I never really got into it until recently. You know, I had a conversation with my dad who inspired me pretty much when it comes to like getting a job or just increasing the opportunities you have when it comes to life. And one of the things he always told me and I never paid attention to it until I started actually implementing it myself, which is presentation is everything. Another one of the things that I like about Scentbird is that they have these cases right here that you can put the fragrances in and you just turn it like this and you pull it right out. So for one, we have this fragrance right here, which is from Confessions of a Rebel. And this one is called Well Played. And I feel like this one is really good because it gives you that CEO type of smell, that very professional type of smell. Then we also have this fragrance, which is Versace. And I feel like this one is probably my favorite when it comes to colognes that I've used so far. And I feel like I probably could give me a lot of numbers with this too, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> then we have this other fragrance right here. And this is Chris Collins Dance Suave, whatever. <laughs> well, the funny thing about this cologne here is i used to work at shane company before i started doing youtube like full time and the store manager that i was working under there pretty much smelled exactly like this so i don't know if this was the exact cologne he was using or whatever but it really does smell like i mean this is a really nice cologne it's really strong though and then for the ladies we have this perfume right here this is paris hilton's Ruby Rush. This smells really nice. I, I like this. It has a very type of fruity smell. Scentbird is also now available in Canada. If you would like to increase your number of opportunities and take advantage of them, make sure you click the link down below in the description and use my code Melverse for 55% off your first month at Scentbird. That's about $8 for your first month. Hey, yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mello. Oh! Couple things I wanna say before we get into this reaction. All right, so since this is a musical, I'm letting y'all know right now, this video is going to be edited like crazy when it comes to copyright they are way more strict on music than anything else so i'm telling y'all right now for all the people that's gonna get upset about oh you talking too much oh, you need to show the movie more shut up like for real shut up you don't know what you're talking about you don't do what i do you don't do what any of these other reactors do you don't know the process I'm telling you that right now. I'm not about to risk my channel get taken down. I'm not about to risk myself getting fined. I'm not about to risk myself going to jail. If I get a comment of somebody going like, oh, you talking too much, or oh, we're here to see the movie, not you, or show the movie more, or whatever, you're getting blocked. I don't know if this is gonna be like Les Morales or whatever it's called, Les Mis Miserables, whatever. <laughs> Maybe Hairspray, even though I've never seen Hairspray. I haven't seen any of those musicals. I'm just, I know from word of mouth that those musicals are kind of like constant singing, or I think Hairspray is just a lot more singing than other type of musicals or something. But also, if you would like to see my full reaction to this movie, the other movies that I do, the TV shows that I do, you can click the link down below in the description to my Patreon. But everybody, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into this movie reaction. Oh, damn. Hmm, that's pretty cool. Got the Disney logo on beat with the song they playing. Welcome to Hamilton.
This dude, Lin Manuel Miranda, bro, is a genius, man. All this work this dude's been doing for Disney, like back to back to back, and it's just all been constant bangers. It's crazy. Every day while slaves were being slaughtered and carted away. Yo, this dude's career has been crazy. He's been doing so many different things, man. But I'm not surprised to see him in something like this, especially if you've seen like his first movie he was in where he was doing like this rapping monologue and it blew a lot of people away. I thought it was all right. It was cool. My name is Alexander Hamilton. There's a million things I haven't done. But just you wait. I think it's funny how they just rapping and they just standing still like a freaking statue and they don't show like any emotion while they rapping too. Is that the girl that was in West Side Story? I know she been blowing up a lot lately. Mmm, I'm loving the acoustics, okay. They hitting them notes. Oh, okay. Mmm, you already know they was killing it on the rehearsal. And me. I'm the damn fool that shot him. Mm, well, I can't wait for them to tell us why you shot him. Are you sure about that? Yo, that was a great intro song right there. That was fire. I like the beat and everything. Okay, so yeah, it seemed like they're just gonna be constantly singing. So like I said, this video is gonna be edited a lot, man. But this is how you connect with the younger audience, man. They doing a great job. They executed it well. It was nice to tell a story like this from history and incorporate hip hop and jazz and other types of genres of music into it. That's how you connect with the younger audience. I can tell they had a blast making this play, man. And I wonder if this was set up by a whole bunch of friends. Okay, I see you, that boy rapping in the French accent. And you already know, you gotta have at least one dude rapping this type of tone. Like he's completely throwing me off guard because you got some people talking in an accent and he talking like he's straight from New York. Mmm, love the change of pace on that one. Woo, look, whoa. Listen to that flow, man. Yeah, this is my favorite song so far. I can already tell this was probably very difficult because you gotta sing, like you gotta remember to breathe. Then you gotta stay on key. You going along with the song and stuff. And you gotta remember your lines and everything. Wow. I'm joining the rebellion because I know what's my chance of socially advanced. They really wore hats like that back then? You got to be carefully taught. If you talk, you're gonna get Hmm, well it seemed like he's the reasonable one out of this group. I shoot off at the mouth. I never had a group of friends before. I promise that I'll make y'all proud. Hey, you just met them. Well, all right, damn. Dude, putting his heart into this friendship already. Don't even really know their names like that. Bro, I couldn't be at this show and not get hype, bro. I've been standing up in my seat like, yeah, hey, yeah. Yo, I, to be honest with y'all, so far, I'm not really paying attention to the story or whatever. I'm just listening to these songs i kind of don't know what the hell is going on but these songs was fire that was that was the best song so far even though it's only been like three songs say this dude lin manuel miranda is an inspiration though when it comes to just the level of success that he's built over the last couple years, he's definitely built a great team around him. Because I know something like this, you can't really do by yourself. And I'm not talking about this play. I mean, of course, with this play, you really can't do this by yourself. But I'm talking about with all the movies and everything that this dude has been doing for Disney so far. So I know that's another thing that adds on to the difficulty of this play. The clothes that they're wearing, as you can see, they already sweating crazy. <laughs> There's nothing rich folks love more than going downtown and slumming it with the poor. They pull up in the ca Oh, heck yeah, I definitely like this beat. Give me like early 2000 vibes right here. Angelica, Eliza, and I've seen her somewhere. I'm talking about the girl in the yellow dress. But she is gorgeous though. I did not know that she could sing. Excuse me, miss. I know it's not funny, but your perfume smells like your daddy's got money. Man, the nerve of this man. You really just gonna say that to her in front of her face? It's fun, baby. You can trust me. Ooh, okay, bro. When I meet Thomas Jefferson, I'm gonna compel him to include women in the sequel. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was fire. So wait, is this play about the Declaration of Independence or something? Ooh, 
I think I just got me another favorite song right here. Yo, these women are killing it, right? Yo, you know, I used to watch something like this as a kid all the time, bro. It's kind of an embarrassing story. When I was a kid, we had just this random VHS tape of the Broadway play Cats. And I used to watch it like almost every damn day and dance along with it. And I used to put a belt buckle in my pants to make it seem like I had a tail. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Oh, look at this dude over here coming in like he all that. Dude really walking like he a ro runway model. Despite our estrangement, I'm your man. You ain't my man. Dude, I don't give a damn if you mad. I don't even know which king this is. I will send a fully armed battalion to remind you of my love. Da 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 da. Of <laughs> your love? That's how you show your love? Come on, man. What type of tough love is that? Sound like some psycho love. This is a great song right here, too. He is killing it. Don't change the subject. Oh my God, yeah. I was wondering if this dude's gonna be like spitting and stuff because his lips were a little bit too moist. <laughs> Look how psychotic this man looks, man. Da, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> Can't see you. Hit them shoulder move. Yo, that dude's a good singer and he had really good charisma. Damn. It's like they just putting out bangers back to back to back now. The Caribbean, I wished for a war. I knew that I was poor. I knew Mmm. I'm liking this piano right here, man. Yes! You are sing we are outgunned! Okay, so this is about the Declaration of Independence. Okay. Yeah, I'm liking this dude as George Washington, man. The dude got that confidence and that attitude right there. Let you know he ain't a dude to mess with. And rob him of their advantages. Was this dude saying, glah, glah. I don't know how to roll my tongue, man. Glah, glah, glah. Think that I could be of some assistance. Burr, sir. Close the door on your way out. Hey, I mean, he's coming to introduce himself and he's asking to serve you and stuff and help you out and you kick him out. So you tell me George Washington and Alexander Hamilton and maybe even Thomas Jefferson and all of them fought in the war. That's kind of hard to believe. I thought they was just the dudes that was sitting in a damn comfy ass big mansion where everybody else fought and they just talked about nothing. What do we have in common? We're reliable with the ladies. Well, you know damn well y'all ain't pulling no girls. What are you talking about? That was a lie. I say what do, I do. Yo, so far, the women, they get the best songs. See, one of the things that constantly blows me away is when I hear a new song and they have like a really nice beat. It <laughs> puts her juke to it, that's completely off beat. <laughs> But yeah, they have like a really nice beat and it's something new But I know like a lot of songs they tend to sample from older songs or whatever because I know it's difficult to come up with a new song, man Peggy confides in me Angelica tried to take a bite of me Oh, you really gonna uh, that's cool that you told her the truth right there up front You know, I probably would have let her take a bite of me though And then that's when you know, I would have told a half truth or something even so pretty much They just sped through their relationship and showing us them getting married Okay. So, hey, you know, you did something. At least you tried, you feel me? Oh, they actually kissed. I didn't think they was gonna kiss. Aww. Yo, they got good chemistry with each other. I'm gonna tell him. Don't you dare. Mmm, I loved how they hit that one. I feel like they cast it pretty good because she just has that look of her being like the older sister and being like a leader or something. Man, I have loved every single song with these women, bro. Oh, they put mics on their foreheads? Looks kind of weird, but hey, if it works, it works. He's penniless, he's flying by the seat of his pants. Handsome boy, does he know it? Oh, that was a fire beat drop. Mmm, girl, you better show out. That's what I'm talking about. It's a pleasure to meet you. Skylar. My sister. Oh, they talking about this from her point of view. Okay. At least my dear Eliza's his wife. So is this true? So he had an affair with his wife's sister or something? I'm assuming that that's gonna happen in the future. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about, 
up, girl. Damn. It's like when they give people a moment to shine when it comes to like these solos or whatever, they show out, man. They go above and beyond. Well, I heard you got a special someone on the side, but is that so? <laughs> Bro, he don't get your hot breath off my face. She's married. She's married to a British officer. Oh, sh <laughs> Why you gotta mess with a married woman, bro? That's I hate when people do that, man. Love this woman, go get her. What are you waiting for? What are you talking about? She's married. I don't care if I'm your boy or whatever. I'm gonna be like, bro, let that go, man. She's married. Now, if they get divorced or whatever, or if they on the way of getting divorced, then all right, cool. But if they still married and they're staying together or whatever, don't break that family up. Love doesn't discriminate between the sinners and the saints. Hey. It takes, it takes, it takes. As y'all can tell, this is definitely one of my favorite songs because this is probably the first song where I actually just been breaking out dancing. I always like the echo effect, man, that they add in the songs and stuff. Hamilton doesn't hesitate. He takes and he takes and he takes and... Mm, so you just be hating on Alexander Hamilton. Like, what does he be taking? I mean, besides the position of being the right-hand man to George Washington, what else has he taken from you? Like, I, I would really like to be involved in the music and stuff. I know pretty much so many people want to be involved in the music because it's just something about music that really connects with everybody. Instead of me, he promotes Charles Lee. I'm a general. Who is? Yeah. <laughs> is that's the first thing he says when he becomes a general, man? I would fire him right off the bat. Do you yield? You shot him in the side. Yes, he yield. Dude, I knew he was gonna be a terrible recruit, man. The dude said, ooh wee, when he first showed up. Son, I need you. I'm call him like... son one more time. Go home, Alexander. Why are you getting mad just because he said don't call him son? He's probably just dealing with some trauma and stuff because you know he's an orphan, so. Say, if the dude, if they cast that dude to be George Washington, why didn't he just wear a wig, you feel me? You know, because George Washington wore a wig. He could at least wore that ugly powdered wig. I begged him to send you home. You should have told him. Uh Bro, just worry about your family right now. You worried about your your own self, bro. You about to have a child. I'll be happy right now. Bro, if you don't show this woman some love, man, she's showing you so much support right now. Everyone give it up for America's favorite fighting friends. I don't know who that is. I, I can't understand a word he's saying, bro. Shoot, that intro right there reminded me of something from Cats, though. I, mean, I like the beat of the song, but I just, I, I don't understand a word these people are saying. They're talking so fast. Yeah, you better beg for me to come back, boy. Hmm, how did they get that shot? I wonder how they be getting these close-ups right here. It'd be good quality, too. Somebody's got a shuffle it. Hercules Mulligan. I need no introduction when you knock me down. I get the shit back on that. Yeah, about time that boy gave him some shine right there. Yeah. Yo, did they get somebody doing the violin right here? Or was that like piano or something? Or not, I think that's a cello. Oh, so this song was basically supposed to be like showing off a battle? Okay. No wonder they was having like that big bass. I mean, this thing right here is now making me wonder how long was the Cats movie that they had come out about the Broadway play just like this? Because me being a kid, I never took that in consideration. It always seemed like it went by pretty quickly. Like, and that was one of the reasons why I always pushed this off for so long because this was three hours man like god but i didn't know it was a broadway play so you know most broadway plays are three hours or four hours besides the uh the women's songs i really like his songs too i love that dude man really embodied like a douchebag king I wonder how this dude Lin-Manuel Miranda got started with his career. When I first found out about Lin-Manuel Miranda, I thought that he was Ali G. Cause I really thought Ali G was a real person, bro. <laughs> I didn't know that was Sasha Baron Cohen, man. Even though we started at the very same time, Alexander Hamilton began to climb. Okay, yeah, I would be pissed about that. And like, I know you've been hating on this dude for a while, but for both of y'all to be doing the same thing and then for him to grow faster than you, that's messed up. Now, I wonder if the real person that this dude is portraying, if he was actually African-American or whatever, uh, because if he was, then that gives me the answer. But if it was just another Caucasian male, then yeah, something must have been the problem. Or maybe he just wasn't working hard enough or he just didn't have that it factor like Alexander Hamilton had. Seemed like his relationship with her is kind of going downhill. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. Hamilton wrote the 
another 51. Dang, 51? Man, this dude is determined right here. Oh, you got an intermission for a minute, y'all. Shoot, this is my dog, Tinkerbell. Uh, my grandmother named her. She is a Karen Terrier, I think. This, um, it's the dog that was in The Wizard of Oz. And fun fact, the dog that was in The Wizard of Oz named Toto, I know it's supposed to be a boy dog, but in real life, that dog was a female. And, uh, we have a female Karen Terrier. So that's pretty cool. Tinkerbell, what do you want? I think she, like, wants me to feed her or something, but not, like, with her food. She wants her to feed me with my food. The thing is, I'm not hungry right now. Dude, who's, who's that? I don't know who that is. Dude, I like his uh, outfit the most from everybody else's. It's definitely that type of outfit that has you stand out, man. And it's very uh, flashy. Oh. Mr. Jefferson, Alexander Hamilton. That's cool. They all got different color suits and stuff. Them suits is nice, man. Making me want to get one of them suits. Secretary Jefferson, you have the floor, sir. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Are they have, are they about to have a rap battle? Now this song right here, you can tell they sampled it from I forget what song it is, but it's a song that came out in the '90s, I think. But y'all y'all know what I'm talking about though. Like as soon as you hear this, you will be like, oh, this sounds like that one song. Thomas Jefferson always hesitant with the president. This is before they knew what tuberculosis was. This dude over here spreading it to everybody, man. Turn around, bend over. I'll show you where my shoe fits. Oh, I thought he was gonna say something else. Like uh, damn, sir, pause. You don't have <laughs> I'm trying to think because like the, the flow that he brought to the, towards the end of that song right there It reminded me of the other song that I'm trying to think if that song had the almost the uh, Had a similar beat to what they're playing, you know, right right there. Dang, it's been a minute since I've heard that song You know that song I'm talking about? It was like I'm gonna put the time I did it, but I keep it coming under or something like that <laughs> That dude's son looked like the dude from The Room. Tommy Wiseau. I don't understand how you could let something like this happen. If you love this woman, why didn't you get with her instead of getting with her sister? I understand that she introduced you to her sister, but you could have just been like, oh yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm trying to talk to her though. Like, come on now. Dude, cause this damn drama for no reason. I practice French and play piano with my mother. Uh -huh. I have a sister, but I want a little brother. That dude killed them rhymes, okay. But this gives me a question to ask y'all. And I know that this might be a more adult question. Do you think that you can love two people at the same time? I don't think so. It's like as soon as you love another person, the love that you had for one person is has been diminished, man. Summer, let's go upstate. I lose my job if we don't get this plan. With our Man, they don't give a damn about his job. This dude just said he about to lose his job and y'all still singing about running away? Come on now. You gotta be kidding me. Looking bad. Oh, girl, you better stretch your stuff. Oh my goodness. What? What? <sighs> Boy, that escalated quickly. God, she looks so healthy. And the body's saying hell yes. Yo, that sounds messed up, bro. So you just took advantage of this girl right here. I mean, she's trying to get payback on her husband, really. And then you are trying to just feel an urge that you've been having for a minute because, you know, your wife is gone and the girl that you love is gone. So, you know, you haven't busted a nut in a minute. You can keep seeing my whole wife if the price is right. If not, I'm telling your wife. Bro, you better be happy that you didn't get this woman pregnant, though. I mean, bro, how can you say no to a woman like that? But still, you got a wife. Wife, man. I mean, I got a wife. That's how I can say no to it. And I have a son. So that is due to track it to three different women. So, so at the beginning of this, I was paying more attention to the music than the story. But now it's starting to switch. I'm paying attention to the story more than the music, especially in my opinion. I know some people might be upset about this, but a few of the songs they've been playing lately just hasn't been hitting me like the songs in the beginning. But that's not saying that they're bad songs. Like a lot of these songs are still good songs, man. This is almost like a Hall of Fame soundtrack right here. But the songs have been they've been playing recently it just hasn't been hitting me like that but like the beat on this one is pretty cool so now this song's starting to turn up you get love for it you get hate for it you get nothing if you win for it. oh yeah i definitely like this beat shoot as soon as i was saying all that stuff here go a banger right here man oh that boy was definitely feeling himself on this song 
fragile to start another fight. Sir, do we not fight for freedom? Sure, when the French figure out who's gonna lead them. Dang, we didn't help them when they were uh, trying to get their independence. I mean, but you gotta have allies, man. When it comes to like helping people get independence, I think it's good to help them out. But when it comes to like other stuff, you know, it's, it's cool to just mind your business. You know, you don't have to get in every single war. I mean, there shouldn't be war regardless, to be honest. Washington isn't gonna listen to discipline, dissidents. This is the difference. This kid is out. Dang, bro. I thought the, the beat was gonna drop a little sooner. I was getting ready for it. Bars! Bars. Yeah, you better do this. Yo, as soon as they would have started doing that, I definitely would have been feeling myself. I would have just been going in. I like how this dude with his character, he just be doing that. Yeah, pop, bro. Hey, I forgot if Thomas Jefferson became president. Did he? I think so. I don't know. That shit's a long ass time ago. It has nothing to do with me. Dude, this is another banger right here, man. I wish they would like tell us the titles of these songs like at the bottom of the screen or something. Like I would like to be a part of something like this, you know, me being an actor, but at the same time, I don't because I just, I know how difficult it is and I don't want to put myself through all that stress and everything and anxiety. <laughs> Gonna show him what you made up, brother. That's what I'm talking about. That boy pulled his soul out on that song. Oh, here come this dude, man. I thought he was dead. George Washington's yielding his power. Is that true? <laughs> oh, yeah, because you don't want to do that. John Adams. Oh, yeah, him. Yeah. Like, who the hell is that? I know him. Oh, you do? Okay. I like how they give him the same beat, man. I wonder if anybody has like put all his songs together for like one whole song. Probably like a real long song. This dude has given the best performance out of everybody so far, man. Sit down, John, you fat mother! Yeah, every play has to do something like that, you feel? Mr. Madison. <laughs> What's up with this dude always walking like that, man? If I can prove that I never broke the law, do you promise not to tell another soul what you saw? I mean, why would you tell him that? All you gotta do is just prove that you didn't break the law. See, that was my wife who you decided. Wow. <laughs> I have reasons for shame, but I have not committed treason and sullied my good name. I mean, but you have committed adultery, which I know back then was almost just as bad. Especially when you're in like an occupation like that. I would have lied to them about that letter like i would have tried to spin it around and stuff and said like oh yeah nothing happened between me and this girl they're just blackmailing me and stuff My own deliverance. in the eye of a hurricane there is mm, i like how they doing this making it seem like everything going in slow motion and stuff doing a mannequin challenge kind of i know that's way more difficult than it seems especially when you get the floor moving under you the reynolds family what is that my real crime is an amorous connection with his wife Dang, so you told the truth? Why would you do that? At his own house. Damn. Wow. Oh, f I can't believe you've done this. You really did it in your bed that your wife lays in, bro? Do you know what Angelica said? Be careful with that one love. Yo, Angelica is dirty, bro. She is fake, man. She wasn't saying that like a week ago when she was on that damn boat and talking about some damn she can't wait to be a moment away from me and all that stuff. Now she's talking about, oh, be careful with that one. Wow, she has beautiful eyes. You forfeit all rights to my heart. You forfeit the place in our bed. Mm, mm, mm. All that for what, Alexander? Now it's got me wondering how this is gonna end. Like, is this dude gonna end himself or is he gonna die from something else? This is my very first school. Fire your weapon in the air. This will put an end to the whole affair. Bro, your son is probably about to die, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> like that's ever gonna happen. Well, it's, it's cool to know that he still love his dad, even though his dad done his mother wrong. Yep, I knew it. I like when they do the this part of the song right here, um, because they did this earlier. It reminds me of James Bond. Everything is it going to survive this? Who did this? Did you know? Yo, you wearing the right outfit, mom? Because y'all about to have a funeral. I'm sorry. See, both of y'all wearing the right outfit. That definitely felt like some genuine emotion right there with that scream. Why would you give him that dumbass advice talking about shooting the air, man? Mm. Do you feel like you're becoming a better man now after what happened to your son and stuff? It's quiet up town. I like how they hit that word unimaginable. God, hey, man. Are you crying? No. I know I don't deserve you, Eliza. 
But hear me out. That would be enough. That would be enough? It should be more than enough. What are you talking about? Basically, you're just saying she's the bare minimum, kind of. So what are some things that they dramatized from this whole story? Because I know a lot of this stuff wasn't like 100% true. Forgiveness. Can you imagine? Anybody actually teared up in this song and stuff? Oh. <laughs> ah, that was sweet. That was very wholesome right there, man. I'm glad to know they back together. Can we get back to politics? Please. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, for real. <laughs> he didn't care about this dude losing his son. The other dude was showing some respect by crying and stuff. Bro, you know, dang well, nobody wants you to be the president. You better take your over eager ass on somewhere else. Here, Mr. Hamilton, John Adams doesn't stand a chance of who Dude, why do y'all care about what he thinks? This dude ruined his reputation, right? Is there anything you wouldn't do? No, I'm chasing what I want. And you know what? What? I learned that from you. Oh, you actually finally starting to have a work ethic. All right. And I know he's definitely happy that Alexander Hamilton isn't running for president since Alexander Hamilton has took almost everything away from this dude. Jefferson has my vote. <laughs> Jefferson has beliefs. Burr has none. What? Dang, why you have to do him dirty like that, man? Why does he not like Bird, man? It's like he cool with him, but he don't really mess with him like that. I wanna be in the room, baby, happy. Mm, I like the camera angle right here. This, that was a really great shot. I'm thinking this dude probably about to kill Alexander Hamilton or something. Perhaps. We hawking. Dawn. Guns. Drawn. You're on. Why would you accept a duel, bro? You have kids and you just lost a son to a duel and you just gonna leave your wife all alone like that? That's irresponsible, bro. What is he doing here, bro? Hamilton was wearing his glasses Why? If not to take, then the aim! Dang, you mad because he wearing his glasses? Come on, he needs them to see. I see it coming. Do I run or fire my gun or let it be? <laughs> that is a pretty cool effect, though, for them to show that, like, the time has stopped or just slowed down, man. Is he putting a lot of the, like, main, like, uh, songs into one song? Like, when it comes to, like, the hooks and stuff? He aims his pistol at the sky! What is with this dude and aiming a pistol up to the sky, bro? Like, if you don't kill somebody? I was too young and blind to see. Man, this dude got that snot dangling from his lip. Stuff look nasty. Shoot, well, I never heard of this dude, so he talking about he's been portrayed as a villain in history and stuff. Shoot, not to me. I don't know who the hell you are, but okay. Every other founding father's story gets told. Every other founding father gets to grow old. Oh, so he was a founding father? Oh, okay. You're, you're a an idiot. I mean, well, I, I think I have heard of the name Alexander Hamilton and stuff. I didn't know that he helped create the banking system and stuff. Shoot, I never heard of you until now, so you might have not put yourself in enough. So where are you buried at? If she's buried near him, where are you? I speak out against slavery. Are you sure he would have spoke up against slavery? That dude wasn't saying before. Dang, she did more for the world than he did, to be honest. It seemed like to me. Dude, they ended this on a great note, man. <gasps> Yo, what, what's up? What's going on, girl? What just, what the hell was that? <laughs> what was that? Everybody cheering and shit. I, I, I would have been just like how I am now. I'm like, what was that? <laughs> what, was that her like seeing him or whatever? Whatever, man. Definitely one of the best Broadway plays I've ever seen, even though I've only seen two of them. Wow, man. That was fantastic, bro. I'm happy that it's finally over. Not saying that it was bad or anything, you know, just, damn, my booty hurting. <laughs> it was three hours. Inspired by the book, Alexander Hamilton. Okay. When it comes to, like, different camera angles and stuff, that was really good. And the production, that was on point. I really enjoyed this. It was a great Broadway play. Uh, the chemistry was great amongst the actors, and they really showed some nice emotion when it called for it. There was a few standouts for me. The guy who played King George, the girl who played Angelica, and the other girl who played Eliza. Pretty much like I said earlier, this is like basically a Hall of Fame soundtrack. Uh, pretty much every song was a banger. And it was nice how they wanted to turn this man's story into a Broadway play and that it connected with the younger audiences and stuff. 
and maybe some of those people wanted to go home and do some more research when it comes to a lot of these people i would like to know which song is your favorite or which few songs are your favorite songs uh which ones are your least favorite and i would also like to know what is your favorite musical i really didn't know what i was going into watching this like i didn't do no research whatsoever i knew that they were doing some things that kind of looked like a play at first what i thought this was is I thought that it was kind of like a TV show or a movie and some scenes were gonna have them be in a play, but other scenes were gonna be outside of that or whatever. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this with me and you liked this video, you know, like the video, share it, comment down below, subscribe, click the bell so you know when I upload more videos and then follow me on all my social medias, you know, the links will be down in the description below, like Instagram, Twitter, Discord, Twitch, all that type of stuff. And if you wanna see my full reaction to this and the other movies that I do and the TV shows that I do, you can click the link down below in the description to my Patreon. I will go ahead and give this a nine B plus. I'm just so inspired by this dude, Lin Manuel Miranda. Like with everything that he's done, it is like mind blowing. Fantastic man, just great production. And with all that being said, I'll see you on the next one. All right, peace.